Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that there's no perfect way or no one way to live your life. There's uh, many experiences that people share. There are many books that have been written that can help you grasp some of the ideas or some of the laws or the principles of this realm that we live in. But there's no, there's no one book that has it all. Currently in my life, I enjoy reading the Bible. I really do. I don't read it as a history book, though. I read it for its laws, for its understanding of some of the carnal ways of man. But also it teaches you some of the uh, carnal ways of animals. And man is a culmination of many of those things in my world. So even when I reference the Bible at times, as I have recently... I, want, I hope that you would understand that I'm not looking at it from a historical point. It's simply the understanding of no matter what you read, no matter what experiences you have gathered, there are certain things that play out regardless. Whether we look at the Bible for uh, the principles that it teaches, or we read the, the first book I ever read in my life when I was a kid was Aesop's Fables. And all the, back in the days on my channel, I showed it some of the fables that came up that I really enjoyed because they teach you inherent lessons that you will naturally experience in your life whether it be the tortoise and the hare whether it be the gnat and the ox it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you go to uh, I'm not even sure how they would classify these books now I believe it's New Thought you can look at uh, William Atkinson you can look at uh uh, books that he has on his other surname or not surnames but uh, pseudonyms I believe it is Thurman Dumont or the Three Initiates uh, you can read the Kabbalah you can read even some of the books about wealth thinking grow rich uh, you were born rich you can look at many of these different books some metaphysical some not and you'll realize that there's a thin line a very thin line of congruency and along that line of congruency even if we go back to re so called religious books you can look at the Quran the Torah you can see the underlying teachers, teachings I apologize uh, what's another book The Richest Man in Babylon it's a good one oh that's a good one The Alchemist these books are teaching you laws that are just consistently there whether it's before the time of Christianity or whatever you believe in, to after these things are gone. We're going to see these teachings. It's, it's inevitable. It's, it's part of the divine law. I don't know how many ways I could really explain that. It's a simple understanding of if you don't take certain things so literal and really pay attention to what the message is coming across, it's the same thing. If you're into psychology, Look at Carl Jung's work. It's going about the same thing. It's simply talking about the animalistic ways that our personality could take on in BTI. It's simple. It does get complex because we all have our own different perspectives. But it's a simple understanding that nothing's new under the sun. None of this. None of the knowledge that we receive uh, through our own journeys, none of the knowledge that we may uh, take in from other people's experiences, there's not a right or wrong. Like, it's skin and cats. There's no right or wrong way to do it. It simply is. It simply is. And I'm sharing this because I've had periods in my life where I've thought, okay, this is the truth, or that thing is the truth, or this is the only way. Nah. You can read Lao Tzu. The Wu Wei I'm talking about some profound information in there And it's a simple understanding Either you go this way or you go that way But the way is the way You will encounter resistance You will encounter ease no matter what It's part of the process If you go to Abraham Hicks she, She's sharing the same thing It's the same principles but being able to grasp the understanding of, okay, there is no escaping it. You will experience ups and downs. There's no way of escaping it. Cool. 
it's simply about keep your eyes centered on that focus. And when you can hold on to that focus that you have, it allows you to experience those downs in a manner of grace because you know that the ups are inevitable. Some people call it vision, some call it purpose. Don't matter what you call it. It's a simple understanding that it's a principle of life. There's no ways around it. No ifs, ands, or buts. I'm sharing this because I would hope that it would give you the chance to give yourself grace and knowing that no matter how you go about understanding your journey, there are tools everywhere. There's tools in the people you love. There's tools in the people that you do not love. It's tools in people that you know. It's tools in strangers. It's all right. Remain open-minded and see these things for what they are. Another perspective. But it's another perspective of the same thing. This thing that we call life. Uh, another another book to help me grasp this idea is The Hero with a Thousand Faces. There's a cycle in life. No matter how big or small the cycle, it's the same cycle. Simply different levels of different experiences in which the ebb and flows go about. But there's no way around it. Just as they say, hey, we come in the world naked and then we go into a diaper, then we grow this and that, and then when you die, you go out of this world in a diaper, then naked, and then you're gone. That's the vessel. It's a cycle. Within that one life cycle, you have many different stages of growth. You have many different stages of uh, destruction or tearing down, but it's constantly creation, destruction, creation, destruction. Being in these vessels, we have the capacity, the true capacity to focus and to control what direction that growth and destruction goes in. That's a, that's a beautiful gift. So in having that gift, it allows us to coexist in a world where someone who thinks completely opposite of how we think still thrives. It's amazing. Doesn't mean we have to like it or even enjoy the experience when we come across it. That's all part of the process of life. It's part of the journey. But it is okay to have your thoughts and ideas. And it's just the same okay for anybody else that had a complete opposite ideas. But please don't believe that they're not successful just as you are successful. No. No. Everyone has their truth. And because it's our own individual truths, it's not for anybody else to validate. To myself, that's beautiful. Because it gives me the permission, the space to be who I am truthfully. But it also gives others that same ability, that same power. And in doing that and knowing that, it gives me more peace of mind to know, cool. They're moving how they move. I'm moving how I move. That doesn't mean that I have to tolerate whatever comes from outside forces or resistance all the time. Nah. It's about understanding, accepting, and moving in a way that keeps me from interacting with that kind of resistance on a constant basis. Same for anyone else. Some people are not going to jail with anything I say. I don't take it personally. It's not. Their journey is not my problem. It's not my situation. It's not my life. But in honoring that and respecting that for them, I move accordingly. I'm not along my way. It's not my job to move with everybody I come across. No. And vice versa. They owe me nothing. They owe everything to themselves. So it's great to see those who are like-spirited as I am. However, I understand inherently that I'm still going my own way, just as they are. Sometimes along our way, we might be at the same location for a little bit of time, and then we go on about our way, whether we're moving in the same direction or opposite directions. That's cool. It's no problem. 
but give people the same grace you give yourself. And once again, that does not mean tolerate. That means simply understand that, you know what? I'm moving this way in this part of my life. They move in that way. And because I know that and I understand it, I'm going to create the space to allow that to be what it is. Sometimes that means creating distance. Sometimes that can mean being a little bit closer to get a better understanding, to, to validate what you see and what you understand and make sure you are operating from the correct mindset. But the moral of the story is nothing new under the sun. Nothing new. And most of the time in my life, on my journey, I thought that we were all separate. No, we all the same. We just show up different. We all the same. We just go in different directions. Who's to say which direction is right or wrong? With that said, I'm going to leave it at that. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.